Good afternoon everybody and welcome to my uh, little reaction review of the Games Workshop Warhammer Fest 2019 and we're starting off with the Slayer Sword winner by Maxime Penaud or Penaud I do apologize if I've got that name wrong and moving on to the new heresy models these I believe are Dark Angels coming in the upcoming book 9 which is to do with the Thramas Crusade, I believe, involving their little uh, altercation with the Night Lords chapter. These are some lovely looking models here. They do look a little bit borderline 40k to me, which I find quite interesting. I do love the details on the uh, Gothic arch type headpieces there. These are new Mechanicum Knights, I think, based on the Armager or Armager chassis. I think these look wonderful. These ones appear to me to be painted in the colours of uh, House Malanax. I think that is the uh, Scorpion logo on the top there that designates that house. I could be wrong and I expect everyone to tell me I am wrong. But these look incredible. I don't know how much of that is resin and how much is plastic. But I'm sure some of you went there and had a look today. These appear to be some Age of Sigmar pieces. I don't know what they are. And I apologise. This is the um, Bandai or Bondi or however you pronounce that. Their little um, group up with GW producing... A seven inch model of Primaris. Here are some Games Workshop shop themed uh, clothing. I like those Tyranid leggings. I fancy getting myself a pair for the gym. Here we have some wonderful, wonderful cosplay pieces. This, I believe, is an Inquisitor. This is uh, this guy. Gets around a lot, doesn't he? He is the Adeptus Mechanicus Priest. I think he's wonderful. This is someone holding um, the biggest hammer they've ever found, and they're very pleased with themselves. Can't quite... Oh, it says Sigmar on the banner there. Two people trying to work out who has the bigger weapon. I think we can clearly see who's won this matchup. Uh, what do you get if you put three uh, Imperium workers in a lift? Uh, cosplay? Is that the answer? I don't know. And the Chaos Space Marine, who's clearly missed the ride in the lift and isn't happy. Marvellous. There he is again. I told you he gets around a lot. The Adeptus Mechanicus Priest. If anyone knows who this guy is, please let me know. I need to know. And uh, the Imperial Guard. They uh, Is this the other end of the shot? Are these pointing at the Adeptus Mechanicum? I don't know. And uh, someone dressed as a Sigmarine, perhaps, I may be wrong, with uh, two well-scaled weapons. I much prefer it when you do your cosplay with a scaled weapon. Um, an Age of Sigmar death cosplay, perhaps? I think it's wonderful. Uh, looks like the Hobbit game is getting some new updates here with the scouring of the Shire which is a part missed out of the movies, which I think you all know about. And here are some of the upcoming models to go along with said release. I'm not sure who these guys are. I imagine they are characters who are probably in the books or the appendices. But to myself, I don't know. However, I am going to say I do like their hats. two very angry looking people they remind me of someone I can't quite work out who it is especially the guy there on the left someone in the movies was it Mads Mikkelsen I don't know and here we have a man who's uh, got Rupert the Bear's uh, waistcoat which he's been missing for a few years and the upcoming Hobbit house is this a bag end specific model or is it just a general Hobbit house I don't know but it looks quite interesting when you see it built like this. 
This is fantastic. This is what it's all about, folks. If you can pull that off, you have won the world. Incredible. Um, this looks like a gentleman from Rohan, but I am not sure. So I'm sure someone else can come along and tell us who it really is. Uh, an orc riding his wag. And uh, he comes with a dismounted model of him waving to his wag. A new Age of Sigmar book, General's Handbook 2019. And the Pitched Battle Profiles 2019. I don't know what that is. This is a new war band coming out. And uh, they look to have a sort of gladiator theme to them. This is the best one, obviously, as it has snakes on it. And snakes are amazing. Uh, couldn't tell you what sort of snakes they are. They look like fantasy snakes. This gentleman looks like something out of Spartacus and they get an extra point for that. Wonderful. This is another Spartacus inspired model. I don't know if you've seen Spartacus the series. It is brilliant. I suggest you all go and have a watch with his trident and net. I don't know what this is. I did come across this picture. It looks like sort of lion coloured thing. Is it a dog? Is it a cat? I don't know. And then we have the halfling blood bowl team and these are fantastic look at that man with a squirrel on his head and that, the other one had a pot on his head marvelous uh, this is the halfling pitch is it half the size of a normal pitch however i need to know this but it probably isn't halfling riding a goat there wonderful in the new upcoming spike magazine issue number five they're really uh, whizzing through these now some match inducements i don't know what an inducement card is i'm assuming it's some sort of uh, special play perhaps the halfling team dice dice set to go with the uh, halfling team everyone needs their own matching dice set and uh, they also come with their own team card pack This appears to be a render of an upcoming elf character who is either throwing a missile or a spiked blood ball. Are they called blood balls? I don't know. And this appears to be a tree manish character, Sylvaneth perhaps. I think that's awesome. Those colours are incredible. And these are the Delac heads for Necromunda that are on the way. And they would uh, also look good for Adeptus Mechanicum, I think. There they are. The, the lack with their weapons upgrade kits. I love that sniper rifle at the back there and that multi melter. They are incredible. The uh, Delac guys always remind me of the guy, the uh, guild navigator people from the movie Dune. I don't know if you've seen that movie. I thoroughly recommend it. There's a new one coming out. I think we all know about um, this guy, a Necromunda character. Can't remember his name. And this is another one, something to do with uh, the ammo jack or something. Here's another special character from Necromunda. He, uh, anywhere he goes is definitely not dark because he has all the candles attached to his shoulders. A weapon upgrade for the Reaver Titan. I love that missile on the top there. <coughs> Excuse me. That one appears to be the Vulcan Mega Bolter. I never got round to building my Reaver Titan, perhaps I should. And here's the upgrade kit, or is it a separate kit for the uh, Imperial Knights with the Storm Spear Rocket Pod, Rocket Pad, and the Hand of the Minion, or whatever they were called, and the Knight Porphyron in Adeptus, Titanicus scale, which looks amazing. And obviously, you have to have your own accompanying dice sets for your Loyalist or Traitor Titan Legion. And these are now available. Some upcoming decal sets for House Pregasius, is that? And House Furians? God, my house knowledge is poor. Legions, sorry, they're not even houses, are they? I am very poor. And some late... Late or... <laughs> 
loyalist and traitor stratagem decks. I imagine they're like special plays. Um, Titans of Legend cards. So we're almost getting special characters now. An Adeptus Titanicus, which I think is going to be amazing. I'm predicting Dizer Ray in there. The uh, Imperator or Warlord from House... Uh, there we go again, from Legio Mortis in the Horus Her Heresy novels. Some objectives, smashed up pod, um, a cake tin, and some bits of curb. Here we have some silos, number six silo there. I wonder what happened to one, two, and three. And uh, 2,186 on the side of that very well painted other silo. I love that paintwork on that one. These appear to be power generators. Hoth is where the rebel base is. That is the system. Um, and this appears to be a garage or a hangar bay. Um, yeah, that's what I would assume it is with that big roller door there on the front. And the new knight for 40k. Another new knight. This is another Mechanicum one with huge weapons there. The white scars, I think we've seen them previous, but I think they were reshown today for the Horus Heresy line. And these are incredible. I love that gold colour on the front there, with that Leviathan. I think that's brilliant. Hang on, were white, white scars meant to be anti Dreadnought? Or is that something I'm misremembering? Uh, these are the Ebon or Ebon Kashig. And uh, I like the little gold details on their shin pads there. This is Ralderon, I believe, from the Blood Angels chapter. And uh, he appears to be wiping the muck off his blade. A White Scars specific javelin there. Does it have anything different to a normal javelin apart from some gump on there? I'd be interested to know. And uh, he has his lance on the side of that there. Which reminds me of the Custodes speeders. The cowling's a little different on the front, I think. I may be wrong. It's been a while since I looked at these. This is the new uh, Blood Angels Contemptor. Is that the uh, Furiosa or whatever he's called? And the Ares Pattern Legio Custodes Gunship which appears to be missing something from the back and the gun is too big at the front for me. This is wonderful. These are the new sort of uh, demons for Horus Heresy. A little bit more... Um, oh, what's the word? Primordial, I suppose. Before they get refined in the 40k setting. I think they're brilliant. They're sort of half corn, half zinch. Not really sure which god they want to be aligned to yet, perhaps. I don't know the background with these guys. And here we have the re-release of the Apocalypse rule set. Which has everybody missed? I don't know. Um, with accompanying tokens and dice, there is all the uh, D12s. I think you'll notice there. And uh, free rules, apparently, online for your army. So I guess you buy the main rule book and then all your army rules will be online. And thus they are asking you to join their record breaking game of 40k at Warhammer World this August. I hope you're all going along. The new Repulsor upgrade with a new turret there. This would be the other option for the turret which I think looks a little better. A little bit more balanced. Looks better from the front, I feel. Reminds me a little of the uh, Shadow Sword from that angle, actually. And here it is from the rear. I like those uh, upward mounted heavy stubbers there above the door. Here's a closer look at the uh, plasma weapon on the front there. I think that looks tremendous.
and uh, possibly the star of the show, the new Adeptus Mechanicus transport for Skitari, a sort of hovercraft Gorgon. Uh, reminiscent of the D-Day landings. It is amazing. It has all the 40k sort of feel to it that you could want. Brilliant. And the variant kit you can produce, which appears to be some sort of tank thing. Also amazing. I love that turret on there. Comes with uh, a variety of weapons by the look of things. Top down shot. This is obviously the uh, model that was teased in the rumor mill if you've all been paying attention for the last few months. And here we have the Chaos Knights. I think a lot of people have been looking forward to these. And they don't look like they disappoint. I think these look wonderful. A lot of subtle differences from the Imperial ones. I love that fist there. It's brilliant. All that detail from the top. Typical spikes adorning it there. Uh, exhausts always have to have extra spikes when you're in chaos. And the weapon has that lovely stabbing knife on the front. And a few hooks hanging there from underneath the stubber, which look wonderful. It has a sort of little rib cage effect, a glowing rib cage, which I think looks great. And there's the codex itself. Was that a Night Lords aligned knight? Seemed to have the uh, Nostraman rules, rules, runes on it. And uh, another preview of the upcoming. Battle Sisters line, the Adeptus Sororitas. Uh, this will be the first model produced for them, I think, the new line. Coming ahead of the line, and I think it is amazing. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on some of these. Multiple angles here to show off the uh, detail going on. It really does look like a wonderful model. If they keep that level of detail throughout the range, I think we will be onto a winner. And here is possibly the most interesting thing to me of the show. The new contrast paints, which we've been hearing a few teasers and rumours about for the last few weeks. And of course, the Space Marine Funko Pops. I wonder how many of you bought those? Copies here of the Solar War. Um, not quite up to this book myself yet. I'm still reading The Burden of Loyalty. And here we have some pictures of how the new contrast paints work. Literally prime it one colour, hit it with your new contrast paint and that is it. One step paint job. Interested to try these for myself when these become available. All the uh, pamphlets and gumph that were available today. I do want that Winds of Magic sticker. I believe that's a sticker. So, thank you very much for watching. And I imagine we shall see you all next year. Goodbye.